Hey viewers, this week on Those Pesky Domes we're discussing prude shaming which is pretty much the reverse of slut shaming. We're going to be talking a lot about sex and shaming and consent and a bit about rape so I want to issue a trigger warning for this video. I'm going to show you a picture of my sign from the first London slut walk because it pretty much sums up the incredibly complex social narrative about women and sexuality that we ladies are supposed to be able to navigate. When we're talking about women and sex, it pretty much boils down to you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. If you have sex or you like sex, then you're a dirty slut. And if you don't have sex or you don't enjoy or desire sex, then you're frigid or a prude. As you can see, both of these statements are utter shit. We've already done a week on slut shaming and you can watch those videos here. Um, so this week we're examining the second of those statements, which is prude shaming. In our society, we really put sex on a pedestal. Sex is meant to be, you know, the pinnacle of life, the ultimate enjoyment, something that we should all constantly be trying to get. Um, like, what? Sex can be a fun activity, yeah. The way skydiving can be a fun activity, and you can go through life having a ball and never go skydiving once. And the same applies to sex. This is also a really damaging message, because this message isn't about having enjoyable and consensual sex at a time that is right for both you and your partner. Pushing this message means that people can end up doing things that they don't want to do with people that they don't want to do it with. This is really tied up with the idea that not having sex or not having had sex is embarrassing. A lot of people I know talk about not wanting to be virgins, trust me, we'll get to the concept of virginity in a minute, once they get to uni. Um, and I think this is because once you get past your teens, being a virgin is seen to be like really uncool or like really embarrassing. And I think this is really tied up with fears that like partners in the future might laugh at you for being inexperienced. Let me tell you something right now that having sex does not make you experienced, okay? Everyone likes different things sexually, like there is a vast, wonderful and beautiful array of things that people like to do in bed and not everyone likes the same thing. Um, having sex with like X number of people does not make you magically understand what an individual person likes. So don't worry about being inexperienced. When you're faced with a new sexual partner, everybody is inexperienced. You know, you don't know how to please someone that you've never been with or discussed it with before. So don't worry about that. Virginity, by the way, is a stupid heteronormative construct that people normally meet, use to mean penetrative penis in vagina sex. So like oral sex doesn't count, like hand jobs don't count. Um, it's only sex if it's between a penis and a vagina, apparently. So, like, our non-heterosexual people, virgins, for their entire life. Um, no, you get to decide what sex means for you, okay? And losing your virginity, uh, please, it's not like a physical thing that you accidentally drop on the floor. I think when we're talking about prude shaming as well, it's like really essential to recognise the asexual and demisexual community because they face this kind of shit all the time. Um, if you're asexual or identify as being asexual, then what that means is that you don't feel sexual attraction. If you're demisexual, that's kind of a halfway point between sexual and asexual. That is a really crude and blunt explanation because um, these terms are really broad and encompass like a lot of nuance and difference. So what asexual is to one person does not mean the same to another, but those are the rough bones of it. And that is a totally normal and natural way to be. And if you shame someone, or make fun of them or think they're weird for not experiencing desire in the same way that you do, then you are a really shitty person. Congratulations. As Becca pointed out in her video, slut shaming is when women are shamed for saying yes. Prude shaming is when people are shamed for saying no. Nobody should ever, ever be shamed or embarrassed or bullied or made fun of for exercising their right to say no. Guys often get laughed at. Um, if they're like a virgin or something. So films like The 40 Year Old Virgin, where the entire comic setup is based around a man's so-called friends bully him, bullying him for not having had sex yet. LOL. Girls, however, are the primary people to be targeted by words and insults like prude or frigid. Um, like slut shaming, this doesn't even relate to sexual activity. Girls can get called frigid for wearing clothes that aren't deemed revealing enough. Um, but the most dangerous thing about prude shaming, and seriously, this is really dangerous, and you shouldn't underestimate, like, the potential for harm it has, um, is the way that prude shaming undermines sex, and is really closely linked to rape. 
If that sounds like confusing or weird or like a really big leap to you, let me illustrate this with a little and triggering story. You have a girlfriend. You've been going out with your girlfriend for like a couple of months now, but you've yet to have sex. And your friends know that you've yet to have sex. And you know they're taking the piss and teasing you and you're getting really frustrated about the situation. And rather than tell your so-called buddies to fuck off, you decide that it's about time your girlfriend slept with you. I mean, you've been going out ages, right? And anyway, you bring this up with her and she tells you that she doesn't want to have sex. Maybe she tells you that she's not ready to have sex with you yet. Maybe she says sex is something she only wants to do when she's in love or when she's married. Or maybe she just tells you she just, she just doesn't want to. Um, so your feelings are hurt because you just got told that you're not as overpoweringly irresistible as you thought you were. So you call her frigid and you tell her she's uptight and you tell her that she's stuck up and she gets upset because she thinks that you're gonna break up with her and you've just said these really hurtful, cruel things to her and she says, yeah, you're okay, no, you're, you're right, you're right, it's fine, it's okay, I don't care, let's have sex. Do you really think that she has truly consented freely and under no pressure to have sex with you? Or do you think that you have bullied her and coerced her and manipulated her into doing something she didn't really want to do? Because that is rape and that is the true danger of prude shaming, that people use it to rape other people. As a kind of a side note and really related to the topic of consent, Holly's awesome video about prude shaming in poly communities really got me thinking about, I've seen a lot of prude shaming in so-called sex positive like kink positive circles. Um, so I've seen people say things like, oh, but if your partner really wants to do that, then you should be a good partner and you should do it or you should try it to make them happy. And sometimes it feels like we're all in a competition to be the most activist and prove, like, prove to each other that the, we're the most like sexually liberated. And like, no, when it comes to sex, if you don't want to do something, there is literally no reason on earth for you to do that. You don't have to. The end. The absolute end of that discussion. You don't want to do it, you ain't fucking doing it. It's not happening. Stop it. <laughs> Obviously, my view of prude shaming is really cis-centric because that's been my dominant experience of what prude shaming has been. But, as always, and especially this week, I am really interested to hear all of your experiences with prude shaming. Have you ever been prude shamed? Um, have you ever seen it happen to other people? Like, what have you felt about that? Have you seen it? How do you think it operates and works? Um, so comment it out people and thanks for watching.